you guys it's your girl pipsicle and i'm just gonna do a quick run through on this app called easy momentum um, and this is not a promotion or anything this is just how to navigate the app only okay so what's going to happen when you open the app is when you're under watch list this is going to be blank you're not going to see any of this okay it's just going to be blank um, so what you can do is scroll over to library and under library is going to show you all the pairs okay they have everything in here what watch list is for is so that you can add the pairs that you're watching, that you're keeping an eye on, okay? And in order to do that, what you would do is you would go to watch list. Again, it'll be blank. You'll hit the plus sign on the top, and you'll add whatever pairs you want in there, okay? Once you've added the pair, it'll show up on your watch list. This would be like for pairs that you strictly trade. Let's say you only trade three pairs or one pair or whatever. Then that's what you're going to have on your watch list, okay? In order to remove it, you're just going to hold down on whatever pair it is. And it'll say alert and you can remove it all right from your watch list and so that's how to remove an ad from your watch list all right so again we have library and that has everything under calendar it's linked to forex factory because there's no news today it's not showing up but if i was to go back to the other day it will pop up all the news all right under settings uh it was recommended to me that if i was going to utilize this app that i should only get alerts for the four hour charts and that's why i only have the alert for four hour on everything else is off if you go under more it's just going to recommend you more apps so let's go back to watch list okay um when you're here for example underneath the odd jpy or aj i'm sorry uh if you click buy and now it's telling you only to buy on the one hour time frame. Okay. You can click the latest news and hopefully, ah, sorry guys, that was going to be a commercial and I didn't want to hear it. All right. So you can click the latest news and this is what it's going to be under the latest news. It's giving you a resistance. It's giving you a chart, technical outlook, pretty cool to kind of just read through. All right. And an another thing about this is this is coming from daily FX. So this app is utilizing daily FX and Forex factory. So I like to have multiple sources, uh, because it just, for me, it makes it a stronger, so uh, source, at least as far as the app is concerned. Now, if you go under sell, it's the same thing, all right? You can click on the news. And there's news from every day. Um, I did want to show you something else. Let's go into library. Now look at this pair here. The uh, CAD CHF, right? That's what I call it. <laughs> um, you see how it says sell all the way across uh, from the minute 30 all the way to the day one? For me, if this was a pair that I traded, um, th that's pretty strong to me that it's showing me a sell all the way across the board in every single time frame. So keep your eye out for stuff like that. If you don't see any buy or sell, it's not really throwing you any anything like this. Uh, it's not really throwing you much. Um, it will give you any news that's coming up. Oops, I gotta get out of the commercials, guys. Uh, it will give you any news, so you can go ahead and look at that, but it's really just telling you at the moment what's going on. And again, this is saying under AJ, H1 would be a buy, H4 would be a sell. Now, please just make sure that you utilize all your resources. Don't just depend on one resource to tell you when to trade. Uh, that wouldn't be a wise idea. Uh, up on top, I already showed you what the plus sign is for. That's to add more pairs to your watch list. Um, the little star on top is just, it leads you to say that you like and could support the app. And the other one is just to rearrange uh, your pairs in the way that you see them. Okay, good luck, you guys.